Hello everyone, welcome to Philips Tecon DDS CAD. DDS CAD introduced a new feature called Distribution Board Step. It has enhanced the way to work with distribution boards. In this video, we'll show you how. Enjoy! First step is activating the distribution board step. We can do it by moving our cursor to the top of the user interface, right mouse click, and then select distribution boards. You, you will see it's by default on the left of the user interface. And it has an indication here, right click for new. So right mouse click, we just select new. So now we have a symbol of a board called 001 and there is a small blue symbol in the bottom left of the board symbol meaning this board has been created but it's not inserted in a model let's double click it and the distribution board dialog is open okay what i will do i will give a name for this board as board 01 and um, i will come to the circuit list tab and i will create two circuits First circuit is a supply uh, with protective device with cable. I will insert uh, 63 ampere, okay? Next, I will create a supply to sub distribution board. So select this one, created. Okay, let me close it. Now that we already have the circuits, I will come back to the defined board tab and I will place this board in the model. If we come back to, to the symbol in the distribution board tab, uh, we can see that the blue indication in the symbol has been removed, okay? What we can do next, I will right mouse click and I can simply copy this board 01. Now we have th these two boards, symbols in the distribution board tab and the second one now have the blue indication meaning this board is not inserted in the model all right but if i double click it we see the same circuits that we have in the original board let's insert this in a model as well okay the blue indication has been removed as well what i will do i want this board to be a sub board and this to be the main board what I will do, I will come to the main board and I will draw a cable from board 01 to board 01 copy. Now we have an indication of this as a main board and this as a sub board. We, if we, by selecting the board, we also see in the properties of the selected board, the indication with the description of this board, the name of the board as I as now has a board 01 copy, and also the indication uh, from what this board is connected to. So we see the reference as board 01 and the description of the circuit, so distribution board, okay? What I would like to do next is to calculate the voltage drop starting from the main board, this board 01. What I will do, I will double click this board 01 and then I will select the supply circuit and double click the column circuit. In the bottom of this dialog, we see a checkbox to start calculating voltage loss at this distribution board. Okay. Now we see an indication of the symbol half white and half black, meaning the, the voltage loss starts here. Okay. What I would like to do next I want to make another copy. Now we have three different symbols. This indicates the start of the voltage loss. This indicates it's a sub board. And this indicates this board is not inserted in a model yet. If we just come to the distribution board dialog and come to the defined board, we see a list of three boards, okay? But let's just pretend I don't want to have this third board in this list anymore. I want to delete it. We can do it from the distribution boards list. First step, we double click and we have to remove all the circuits that belong to the circuit list. Next step, we have to save it. And then we right mouse click 
and delete. Okay, so it has been removed from the distribution boards tab. And if we come to the distribution board function, it also removed from the list of boards. Would you like to see more videos like this? Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell and don't lose the next videos. Else, what would you like to see next? Put it on your comment below and maybe I make a video for you.